Hello, welcome back. This is Grillenheimer. Um, basically, I'm, I'm promoting someone that I have subscribed to on YouTube who is doing a lot more than just YouTube videos. And that's the Pattern Patterns of Evidence channel. Um, now, I knew about the movie earlier this year. Apparently, they're older than I realized. Uh, there's Patterns of Evidence, The Exodus, and there's Patterns of Evidence, The Moses Controversy, I believe. One of them I got to watch through for free through my local library app. Um, and then, as of now, they are both on Tubi for free. Now, watch out. Tubi has some junk out there you don't want to you don't want to look at. But the, the, they got a lot of neat older TV programs and movies. I think the for the original Matrix movie might still be out there. But they have both patterns of evidence movies as of now. Uh, it did they did just have one, and I kind of got to see the Moses controver controversy on there. And I, they could have recently just added the second one. I'm not sure, but it finally suggested the second one to me. So. Not sure how long they've been out there, but check them out. They're free on Tubi right now. Tim Mahoney, David Rawl. Um, and the neat thing about this is that they present their evidence, archaeological findings, on the affirming the Bible. People don't want to believe the Bible because it's just so restricting. No, I want to be able to do what I want. I want the freedom to do the blankety blank I want. No one has a handle on me kind of attitude. Me, myself, and I. Me, 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 me. Uh, and, and we are living in a very nar narciss narcissist age. Uh, nihilism and everything. It's just rampant. Um, and it, it's just really sad to see how in like less than 10 years my country is just down in the dumps but I think it's taken us to go down in these dumps to realize one how good and great our country is two hopefully to get us back to God um, and Tim Mahoney and David Roll who is actually an agnostic help bring this all this stuff together what and the beauty of this is, like I was trying to say before I interrupted my own self, is that you, they're going to hit both sides. They go to a lot of professors um, who, you know, sit straight backed and, and their hands crossed and their noses up in the air and, oh, well, that didn't happen. And then they'll smile and, 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 and you can almost see the arrogance dripping off of some of these people that he does interview that refuse to move their idea of the Exodus from the Ramses period from the late period and not putting it in the middle Bronze Age period uh, which is what a lot of stuff is they're finding that for the timeline of the Bible does is lining up with a timeline of Egypt that the people back at day don't want to believe because they are mindset on a certain time of an exodus that they don't believe happened for a, for a time that doesn't coincide with all the archaeological findings we have found in less than 20 years. So if you haven't already been watching the movies, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff here on YouTube. They have a channel called Patterns of Ev Evidence, and it's very evident that not many people are watching these videos. So I would suggest, if, and if you've checked me out, and, and uh, I've been here for nine years now, woohoo, go me. Um, definitely check them out subscribe they have a, a lot of neat stuff that like I said behind the scenes more interviews more how this happened more why I did this um, Tim Mahoney just seems very humble he uh, seems like a really nice and great guy he um, he's not it, 
it, it, they may be, may be selling the movie, but like I said, right now you can see it for free. I really would like a physical copy of it myself, um, just because the, the information that is provided, that is being shown, don't don't miss your opportunity right now on Tubi to see those for free. In the meantime, I would suggest subscribing to their channel here on YouTube and checking all, I mean, there's stuff out there for years that I'm now just kind of finding out myself and I'm like, oh, this is really interesting. Oh, I haven't heard this. Oh, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this interview because uh, there's so much that has led to the culmination of filming these movies in a presentation that Tim deems worthy of presentation. And they're not done yet. So please check them out. Please subscribe to them. Not to me, but I appreciate it when you do. Um, so, and just as John 5, 46 through 47, even Jesus Christ himself said, if you don't believe Moses in his writings, how, do you, how, how are you going to believe me? How are you going to believe Jesus? How are you going to believe Jesus' word if you don't believe Moses' Moses testimony and what Moses wrote? Things to think about. Hopefully, this will be the little carrot to get uh, the, the nugget to make, get you thinking and say, hmm, you know, if you have any doubts of your faith, if you have nibbled on too much of worldly information to cast doubt on your faith as a believer, check this stuff out. You really need it. Um, I, it hasn't had my faith. It hasn't really helped my faith because I have a, I've had a pretty strong faith for decades, ever since I was saved years ago and baptized in the early 90s things to think about. Check this out. Because it is really illuminating history. It's illuminating and affirming the word of the Bible. Check the check pattern of evidence out if you haven't already. I want to say thank you for watching. Have a, not a good day, but a blessed day. Maybe we need to come up with a new title for this segment of my channel other than Gamers Need Christ. Uh, even though I'm still kind of a gamer in a way, I don't showcase games anymore, nor do I, I sit my big heavy self in front of a TV anymore. I can't get in, 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 the, in the floor much anymore. Heck, I'm 50. So thanks again for following along. Share this to someone if you haven't already. It helps the algorithm. We'll see you next time. And Praise be to God, the very rocks are crying out. The very rocks are crying out. Some truth is to be heard here. In the way this group presents it, let's you interpret it and come up with your own answers. That's key. I think Tim's done a great job with this. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Praise be to God, and as always,